In this video, we're going to answer the question that's on every developer's mind. Is ChatGPT going to take my job? They took our job! And it's no surprise that developers are freaking out, especially when every YouTube video and news article suggests that we're all doomed. To answer this question once and for all, I've put together the perfect science experiment to determine if programmers are actually doomed or if this is being blown way out of proportions. And you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video because the results are going to shock you. So let's talk about this experiment. At first, I really struggled to come up with a way to find out who's a better developer. Humans or ChatGPT. After all, it's super difficult to assess someone's creativity, problem solving, and technical skills in a short amount of time. But then it hit me. Fang. These multi-billion dollar companies have officially cracked the code for finding good developers. Apparently, if you ask someone to reverse a link list or rob a few houses on a street, you, with 100% certainty, can determine if they're a great developer or not. And that's what Fang uses to determine who gets those fat 300k salaries. So if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for this experiment. So here's how this perfectly scientific experiment is about to work. I'm going to race to finish four leak code problems as fast as I humanly can. I'm gonna do three easy and one medium. And after that, I'm gonna have ChatGPT solve the same four problems. And whoever finishes these problems fastest is obviously the superior developer. So for the sake of humanity, I hope paying for neat code and algo expert finally pays off. <laughs> All right, on to the experiment. All right, so we have leak code pulled up, which means we're about ready to start our experiment. I just wanna walk you through how this is gonna work real fast before we start coding. So what I've done down here is I've selected that I only want to work on the easy top interview questions. So here's just a list of all the different possible questions we can get. And then after every time I code a solution, what we're going to do is log the time over here in our Excel sheet. And then immediately after me, I'm gonna have ChatGPT perform the same test so we can begin to see how better or how much worse I am compared to the AI. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and come down here. We're gonna say pick a random one, so wish me luck. Oh, and it's also important to mention that there's a timer that I'm gonna click and that's how we're gonna keep track of how long it takes me to finish each problem. So, all right, let's begin. Okay, timer, all right, start looking. Okay, so it contains duplicate. Given an array of numbers, return true if any value appears at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct. Okay, all right, so we're using JavaScript. I think this is set up perfectly for a set. So I'm gonna say const num set is equal to a new set. And basically what I would like to do is um, do a for loop through each item. Um, num of nums, and we're gonna just see if our num set has that number in the past. So has is the word here. If that's true, oop, let me put this in an if. We're gonna return true. And then if we get through our whole list without it, we can return false. I think that's right, let's just submit it and we'll focus. If the value pings twice, return false. Oh, shoot, um, as in, oh, we have to add it num set dot add num okay quick 10 55 55 seconds 56 seconds go 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 okay perfect all right 57 seconds not bad we move fast all right let's go ahead and log our time all right 0 57 all right cool all right so now it's time to start seeing what chat gpt can do so what i've done is i've actually pulled up a new chat over here that we're going to start copying and pasting our prompts into what we're going to do is head back over to here and we're going to reset our times we're gonna reset our code. All right, now it's time to see what ChatGPT can do. So let's go ahead and start our timer. So to make things fair, all I'm gonna do is just copy the prompt over here. Please complete the following code problem. We're gonna paste that in, and then we're also going to paste in the code template. Complete on JavaScript code template. All right, paste. All right, it's pacing. Dang, it's going fast. It chose to do a set as well. Glad we're, uh, we're on the same page, it's adding numbers. It didn't mess up like I did though, so copy. We're gonna paste it in here. We're gonna submit it and then see who's faster. Dang, 41 oh. seconds. All right, one for AI, zero for humanity. Dang, okay, so let's, uh log that all right back to leak code now let's get our next problem and before we do the next question i think it's important i can't mess up and i have to go faster i think that's the only way i stand a chance against chat gpt so all right let's go ahead and hop to the next question then deep breath this is for humanity 
Okay, all right, start the timer. All right, I'm doing a reverse linked list. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Um, given a head of a singly linked list, reverse the list and return it at the very end. Okay, so let's just do our normal stuff. So so um, sometimes if a list is empty, we can't do anything, so we're just gonna return null. All right, let's do our normal stuff that we have to do for a list. So we're gonna say let previous equal to null, let cur equal to head, and then let's do let next equal to head dot next. Okay, so we have a list. All right, now this one you traverse through it. So let's do, while we have a current node, let's do some stuff. We're gonna go backwards. So we need to say cur dot next is equal to previous to work backward in the linked list. Now we need to start updating our stuff. So prev is equal to cur cur is equal to next and then I guess sometimes next can be messed up so if there is a next we need to say if next is equal to next dot next that should be our code return prev that's yeah that's that's gotta be right right hopefully fingers crossed did I speed mode speed mode all right let's see minute and three seconds okay let's go let's go all right 103 all right we're at two minutes i hope to god ChatGPT is slow for what it's <laughs> for a reason okay all right so let's um delete this and then make a new chat all right it's ready to go okay let's go back to our code and give chat gpt a try so i'm going to reset the timer start it all right off we go for chat gpt copy it just like I did last time. I'm curious how this one's gonna work now that we have some pictures. So please solve the following the code problem. Okay, and then um, we gotta reset this. Yeah, that's good enough. Copy it, go over. Here is your code template to complete in JS. Okay, all right, to reverse the single list, Okay, it's doing a lot of talking, not much coding. Okay, that looks pretty much like exactly what we did. Oh, okay, all right, they're already done. So let's copy this over, paste it in, and submit it. Oh, oh my god, that was so fast. <laughs> oh, I think we might be screwed. Okay, all right, I'm gonna copy it. Uh, 42 seconds over here. Dang, it is actually very consistent. All right, I'm, well, I'm hoping the next easy problem is uh, something it can't complete. <laughs> All right, back to leak code. All right, so now we're back on leak code. I honestly think we just have to send up a miracle or hope that the leak code gods are on our side for this next one because uh, it's not looking good for, for humanity. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to our next question and start going. So I'm going to hit the timer. All right. So we have to do a valid anagram. Okay, two strings, S and T, return true if it's an anagram. S is false. Oh, okay, this is pretty easy. So if S dot length does not equal T dot length, then there's no way it can be an anagram. So return false. And then outside of that, we need to do some uh, trickery. So we need to do S1, const S1 is equal to S dot split. We're gonna split it, we're gonna sort it, and then we're gonna join it. Yes, okay. Perfect, and then we're gonna do the same for T. Okay, that, that's a trick for this one. And then at the very end, return S1 equals T1. Okay, yeah, that's not formatted, right? But let's see if it works, that's the important part. And it does. Okay, 45 seconds, we're getting down to some chat GPT speeds. Okay, zero, 45, okay, go team, go team. All right, now let's do the same thing for chat GPT and see how it can do it. So let us restart, reset our timer. Okay, all right, this might be humanity's chance. So let's start copy and pasting. Start the timer and copy and paste. So valid anagram all the way down to right here. Let's head back over to here. Please complete the following lead code problem. Is in here. I think I need to start typing slower for ChatGPT. Um, use the following JavaScript code template. Okay, fantastic. Now we're going to copy our is anagram, copy it in over here, and then we're going to run it. Um, go down to the very bottom. Okay, to turn there's anagrams, JavaScript, ST. Okay, they're doing some fancy stuff, but hey, all right. I guess it works, different strokes for different folks. Pay it, submit it, and then results. 
Oh, we won. We won. 52 seconds. What do we get again? 45. Suck it, ChatGPT. We're winning. Okay. All right. There is hope. There is hope. So two for ChatGPT, one for person. So it all comes down to this medium problem. So let's go find a good one and make it a, an interesting experiment. Let's head back over to Elite Code and start exploring some questions. And to do that, what we're going to do is head back over to our problems. And then this time, instead of setting difficult to easy, we're going to do medium. And once again, we're going to do top interview questions. So now let's go ahead and pick a problem. Okay, cool. All right, so we're on jump game. Let's go ahead and start the clock and start coding. We're good. All right, you're given an integer array of number, numbers. Your initial position is the first index, and basically that's your jump length. Return true if you can reach the last index, false otherwise. So if I get two, it looks like I'm getting the like hop all the way down. In the second example, if I get three, it looks like I'm getting stuck at this zero. Okay, so this looks like recursion to me. So, so let's do some base case. And then usually leak code kind of forces memorization. So I think we got to add some of that too. And really to do recursion, we also need to have like a default index because that's how we're going to jump. And it said we're starting off at the first spot. So that makes sense. So base case, if we get to the end of the numbers array, we did this right. So if nums length minus one, if our index is greater than or equal to our numbers array, we know we got to the end. So that's cool. All right. Um, We'll come back, and then I guess memoization comes into case. So if forever, if if we ever made something for this um, spot in memoization, like if it's not undefined, undefined, if it's not undefined, we're going to return this. This is going to save us a lot of time. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is head on to the rest of our code. So we're jumping. So I think it's first important to find the maximum jumps we can take. Max jumps is equal to nums idx. Cool. And then we're going to be greedy and normally just hop to the end. So let's do this for let i is equal to max jumps. Okay. As long as our i is greater than or equal to 1. And then we're going to count down, not up like we normally would. So all right, so we got to memo memoize stuff. So um, equals, so what we're going to do, our can jump, and we've updated this function. We're going to pass in our nums, idx, but we're jumping, so it's idx plus i, and then we are passing our memoization. And then if we are able to jump to the end, so if memo idx is equal to, actually just, yeah, there we go. Return true. Cool, and then if we get to the very end, it didn't work. So, memo, and I think I'm doing this all right. Um, return, false. Okay, I'm gonna submit. I think that's the best way to jump. Be greedy, we're, me we're memoizing, we're recursion, we're doing, we're doing all of it. Oh my gosh, it worked. Two minutes, 34 seconds. Okay, not bad for a medium question. Not bad, not bad, go team. So what we're gonna do now is hop over, we're gonna hop over, record our time, 2.34, that almost doubled our time. So fingers crossed, uh, uh, ChatGPT is having a bad day. So let's uh, head back over um, and start getting this working for ChatGPT. Okay, we're gonna reset the timer and start going. Okay, hopefully uh, ChatGPT can't jump. Let's see if, let's see what happens. So. Please solve the following leet code problem. Paste that in here. And then what is our coding uh, coding template? Just like this. Here is your coding template. Please complete in JavaScript. Okay, all right, let's go to the very bottom and see what it can do. Let's do what we're doing for this index. Okay. All right, let's see if that works. Um, submit it. They're not doing any memoization or anything like that. Wow, you didn't even need to memoize. Dang. Okay. Wow, they're a, they're a much better programmer than I am. 43 seconds versus our, let's see, 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Oh. Well, damn. 0, 43. All right, it is official. ChatGPT kicked my butt. So the science is in and uh, we're screwed. <laughs> but how do you think you would have done in this challenge? Do you think you would have beaten my time? 
More importantly, do you think you would have beat ChatGPT's time? The good news is AI hasn't taken all the jobs yet, so I can at least be like, you know, like an Uber driver or something while I'm trying to figure out my next gig. Wait, what, Jimmy? Elon Musk is adding autonomous driving so Uber drivers will all be out of a job soon? I'm screwed. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun making it and getting my butt kicked by ChatGPT. So if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you want to see other cool AI content, feel free to check out this other video that I have to see how to make a landing page with tools like MidJourney and ChatGPT. And if you want to learn how to interact with the ChatGPT API directly, you'll definitely want to check out this video down here. And that's a wrap, and I hope to see you in the next one.